Hello guys, good afternoon. A lady, since uh, the 5th, Cinco de Mayo is coming up, a lady that I follow on Facebook was making margaritas. Since today is the last day of my weekend, I decided, hey, might as well try it. So I decided to bring you in and let you share this with me. I have done a little bit of pre-work because this one calls for um, peeled limes, whole peeled limes. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do four ounces of tequila. Which kind of tequila? The uh, Coralejo. And we've tried many, and a lot of people get stuck on the Patron and the Casamigos, but this one is my favorite. So we're gonna do four ounces of that. Híjole. And she uses an orange liqueur in hers. Cointreau? I'm not exactly sure how to say that. <laughs> Alright. We're going to do an ounce of agave syrup. The one thing I don't like about margaritas. I don't like to add salt to mine. So and then we're just going to pretend that's about three cups of ice. And then we'll blend it up and see what it gets us. Take this right over to the blender. Alright, that looks like about the right consistency. There's mine. <laughs> I don't know about Alex's. <laughs> yeah, you'd never know from the blender that we did put the uh, limes in whole. They just blended right up. All right. We're going to have him do the taste test. Well, don't forget this secret ingredient. Which is, oh, the avocado. <laughs> no, that's Alex's dinner. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's see what we think. That's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's, this is a new margarita for us. Mm. Because a lot of times at um, home, we do a beer margarita and keep it in the freezer. But yeah, this is really good. Yeah, this that is, is really tasty. And then we're just gonna show you the products again that we're using one more time. The Coralejo tequila. Okay. The orange liqueur Cointreau, I guess. All right. We got a little bit of agave Let's syrup. Let's see that agave. Okay. Okay, and then lime. Easy Fresh enough. Limes. limes and ice. And no avocado. No avocado. <laughs> he still doesn't believe me that it's his dinner. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. Happy Cinco de Mayo.